everybody my name is Sean Keenan and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the rigs um, that are now available on the Edge CGI website so whenever you first download the rig pack you're going to get this folder that's called fish rigs um, let's go ahead and open it here let's take a look here inside um, our folders so the folders here, um, this fish rig add images probably won't be in the folder. Um, you don't really have to concern yourself with this. This is just images for the ad that's um, been posted on the website. Um, the scripts for GUI windows here, we need to make sure that we install this. Um, you don't have to install it. It just makes it much easier for you guys to access and use the rig. Um, so let's go ahead and install the scripts that are inside of this which is the ABX Picker 2012 script um, there are a lot of GUI Windows scripts out there uh, but this script actually makes it um, very simple and very easy to use so let's go ahead and open this and we're going to install our scripts here so really we just need the ABX Picker Mail script here and to install this all we're going to do is go into my documents and we're going to look for the the Maya folder here and we're just simply going to copy and paste the ABX Picker script into the Maya scripts folder, not the Maya version scripts folder. This way, any version of Maya that you use, you can actually use the ABX Picker script. Um, and then you'll just simply take the ABX Picker shelf icon and put it into each corresponding version of Maya's preferences icons folder and once you do that you should be able to go ahead and use the script let's go ahead and open this just to make sure we have the right command to go ahead and use okay so we just need to launch it with the abx picker um, colon there so we'll just go ahead and copy this and we'll go ahead and close this let's go ahead and open my here with the rig file open okay i've already gone ahead and installed that abx picker uh, mel script so we'll just go ahead and launch here. I'm just going to put in that ABX picker in the command line here. Hit enter. And you're going to see where the uh, GUI window should actually come up. Now, uh, if your image here doesn't actually load the way that mine is, to go ahead and load that image in here so that you guys can see exactly what I see is just right click, hit BG image, and all the background images are placed in the character rig GUI images folder um, that's an extra folder I've gone ahead and added so just go ahead and double click and go in there and just make sure you change your file of type to all files rather than I think the default is PNG that it comes out as just make sure you hit all files that way you can see all the files that are in there and then just select the peacock bass GUI go ahead and open that okay so let's go ahead here and take a look at our rig uh, first thing you'll notice is the peacock bass or both rigs will come on come in with the prefix um, name and this is because uh, I want to use it for referencing um, it's going to work better if you reference those uh, files in rather than just straight open them or import them into any scene um, so you can see here we have controls for the eyes um, lock eyes or the free eyes so if we go ahead here and select our head control and rotate our head you're gonna see where our eyes are actually locked with our head let's go ahead and set that back let's go ahead and make those eyes free and now you're gonna see where those eyes don't move with the head control um, but you can always go ahead and do that if you want okay we also have control here for the upper lip uh, to go ahead and open our mouth we can also control both fins on both sides here we can always go ahead and reset the um, auto swim control here as well so if we go ahead and select our auto swim you can see where the, the body gets posed uh, to signify an auto swim control and then if we go ahead and select the global master control and just simply run the peacock bass swimming you're going to see where he's going to be able to swim uh, fairly easily without actually having to do the manual animation but let's say that you want to adjust the length of the swim we can always do that as well 
so you can change the amplitude if you want. You should also notice that <clears throat> these attributes are going to adjust in very, very small increments. So make sure that um, you're kind of careful whenever you go ahead and adjust these. And you can see where it really gets a little bit um, out of control if we go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead here and reset that. We also have controls here for not only the auto swim, uh, but the manual swim as well. So we can, if we wanted to, turn those controls on. Okay, let's go ahead and turn those controls back off. So it just makes it much easier to go ahead and select it through the GUI window here, as you can see. But let's say, oh, I want auto swim with the ability to go ahead and move the the fins as I see fit, we can still do that. So we'll just go ahead and maybe pose this real quick a, a little bit. Let's go ahead here and switch the controls. Let's go ahead here and set an auto swim. Select our master control. And you can see where we can still adjust those controls as needed. And we can also, if we wanted to, rotate the tail as well. And still run that auto swim feature. But let's say we need to go ahead and set all this stuff back to zero. Now, you can go ahead here and select every single control and uh, reset the channel box. But it's just going to make it much easier if you go ahead here and just click the R which signifies to go ahead and reset the control. So everything there is now back to zero, as you can see. Um, we also have the ability here to go ahead and smooth our fish uh, for render times. So the green, yellow, and red here signify the varying levels of smooth. smooth. So if we hit green, obviously this is at the green level, which is the low um, res animation. The yellow, which would be uh, more of a rendering control. Um, you can probably get away with this level of smooth for uh, most of your rendering. But if you really want to crank out that rendering, you're going to go ahead and want to use the red, where you can see um, the density here of the mesh is really uh, fairly dense. So let's just go ahead here and switch back to green. Um, and that's how you would uh, actually go ahead and... Um, get that stuff smooth for render time. So now let's go ahead here and create a new scene. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and reference both of these images in or both of these rigs in. So we'll just go ahead and create a reference here for our peacock bass. Go ahead and hit 6 so I can show you guys that this is actually going to work the way that it's intended to. So we'll go ahead and launch our ABX picker script. Go ahead and select our GUI window here. And you can see that the name has now changed to Peacock Bass for the GUI window. Let's go ahead and create the reference for our Panther Grouper. And you're going to see here where this is actually going to update. Let me go ahead and just refresh it. So now we have the Peacock Bass in the scene, uh, as well as the Panther Grouper in the scene. So you can see here where uh, the referencing actually works. And if you want to make a change to that reference file, you can actually do that scene side and then just update your, your reference in your uh, main animation file. So um, both rigs are built the same way. Um, so there really shouldn't be much of an issue in terms of you guys actually getting those um, animations and familiar uh, with each rig because each rig is pretty much built the same. Um, there really aren't any major differences here other than uh, the Panther Grouper has a little bit more uh, rigging control uh, compared to the Peacock Bass. So uh, that's a look at the rigs that are now downloadable on the Edge CGI website. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these rigs. Uh, if you have a problem, uh, you can definitely email me at cyclistkeenan at hotmail.com uh, and I'll try and get back to you as, uh, as quick as I can. So. I hope you guys enjoy the rigs and uh, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.